do you ever watch council proceedings online, live streamed on the internet? It's something that's been happening for a few years now. Yuribidala Council has been doing it, I think, since 2015. Well, a proposal to scrap the live streaming of the public forum component of Yuribidala Shire Council meetings has been successful. The motion was supported by all Yuribidala Shire councillors during yesterday's meeting, apart from councillors Anthony Main and Pat McGinlay. Pat McGinlay spoke to the ABC's Claire Wheaton. He says he's disappointed, but he hopes a future council might reverse the decision. Disappointment is not a good enough word to describe how I feel about that. Uh, vastly disappointment, perhaps. Um, I think uh, fear um, uh, and all the reliance on bureaucracy to manage people has taken place, taken the place of the basic right of our community to come in, say their piece, and to have the rest of the community able to hear what's happening and enjoy the debate and the to and fro and the questions that emerge when people do come into public forum. Um, it's not an easy thing to do for most people, um, and I think it's a loss for our community that such a forum has been diminished in its effectiveness. Were you surprised that your amendment only had support uh, from yourself and one other councillor? Uh, I must admit, yes. I think that the, the number of really articulate and well-written submissions that came in beforehand from members of the public, somewhere in between t around about 12 or 13 of them, plus the fact that eight speakers came in today in public forum, ironically enough, the last ones who will ever be videotaped and kept on the record, and all eight of them spoke really well and gave lots of sound arguments for why the video conferencing and that it be retained on the records should be retained. And it seems those submissions and the efforts of those eight speakers fell on mostly deaf ears. So, yes, I was surprised. I thought there might be at least two or three others who might be swayed by uh, what the public had to say about it. What does this say about the Yorubadala Shire Council when other councils like the Bega Valley Shire Council are going to continue with the live streaming of public forum? Yeah, look, that's probably the most disappointing thing uh, in that uh, Yorubadala had been a trendsetter, if you like, in terms of this. Uh, they were probably one of the first that did start um, live streaming and recording uh, public forum speakers and the results in questioning. To be in front and then go backwards while other councillors are stepping forward or retaining that progressive view is really disappointing too. Perhaps when next this uh, code of meeting practice comes up and it will be before a new councillor body, uh, things can be put back on a progressive wheel and the, that council will be less scared of what the public might have to say. So you think there's hope that it could be uh, reversed in the future? Well, yes, when a new council comes in, they will have their, their chance to review the code of meeting practice. Um, and when that review comes up, they can it's up to them. Uh, they can have their speakers and they can have another shot at it. Nothing's permanent. There you go. That's Yuribidala Councillor Pat McGinlay talking about uh, scrapping the live streaming of the public forum part of council meetings.